Taiwan leads the world in production of cutting-edge semiconductors, and Japan is one of the major destinations for its overseas expansion. But how can the industry achieve the goal, given Japan's shortage of human resources? NHK World's Matsuda Tomoki reports. This university in Taiwan began full-fledged operation of a program for Japanese students in September. Its 17 participants learn specialized knowledge needed for making semiconductors such as mechanical engineering and production management. Classes are taught in Chinese and English. Thanks to corporate donations, the students are free exempt from the tuition of about $15,000 for four years. They can even receive $320 per month for living expenses. I'm learning things I never would have in Japan. The program allows me to do things on my own. The Taiwanese side is eager to attract students from Japan. The world's largest chip maker, TSMC, aims to open its second factory in the country. Semiconductor makers need a lot of workers, but conventional universities cannot keep up in developing human resources. Universities in Taiwan and Japan are also working together. This one, in what's known as Taiwan Silicon Valley, has signed an agreement with four Japanese universities to foster talent to lead high-level research and development. They jointly set up a research institute. Ono Shinjiro has been studying at a graduate school in Japan, but he does research here to create next generation semiconductors. A clean room, which is essential for making semiconductors, is available around the clock. The equipment is the same as that used at company development sites. This is an ideal environment for me to conduct experiments whenever I want. During class, students sometimes have discussions with officials from Taiwanese companies. The aim is to learn how to connect new technologies to business. He's learning about the need to develop markets and competitive products. Being in an environment close to companies and industries got me thinking about things from all angles. It has really changed my mindset. The university plans to accept more Japanese students. We will work together to develop basic technology for next generation semiconductors. It will be a win-win relationship for Taiwan and Japan. Cultivating human resources takes time, but by deepening industrial and academic cooperation with Japan, Taiwan's semiconductor industry hopes to maintain its position as the world's leader. Matsuda Tomoki, NHK World.